Pretty much every camera that you buy these days has a monitor on the back of some sorts. Now there's different sorts of monitors. There's ones that just flip up and flip down like this one and the Sony a7R 2 Not my favorite, but they do a job. And there's also ones that flip out and around with like a very angled display like the ones on the Sony ZV-1. And you can see yourself from the front when you are vlogging with it as well. Very useful, probably my favorite sort of monitor that you can get on a camera. What they allow you to do is as well as seeing what you are shooting, whether you're taking pictures or video, you can see everything clearly. You can also view important information that you need to be considering when you are taking your shots, such as your apertures, ISOs, shutter speeds, white balance, and also being able to get through your camera menus as well, which is pretty important. And you'd think when you were using a camera, pretty essential. But if you can see all of this information on the built-in display on your camera, why do you sometimes see people using big external monitors on top of their cameras just like this one? That's what we're gonna have a look at in this video. Five reasons why you should be using an external monitor with your camera. Let's get into it. Very quickly, just before we go any further, if you are new here to this channel, my name is Scott Edwards. I make all sorts of videography and tech related videos. So if they are the sorts of things you are interested in, consider clicking that little subscribe button just down below there and come and be a part of this community. So external monitors, why should we be using them on our cameras? This particular external monitor is the Fieldworld F6 Plus and I got it from Amazon for about £160 I think. I will link it down below if you want to go and check it out. But it's fairly cheap for an external monitor, you can spend a lot more on them. Atomos do some incredible external monitors. I chose to save a little bit of money and go for this one, the Fieldworld F6 Plus. It's fully touchscreen, I'll show you in a second, and it's also powered using Sony MPF batteries which is incredibly useful because so many pieces of gear now are powered by these batteries but you can also use Canon batteries as well which is incredibly useful if you have some of those lying around. To attach it to your camera it comes with this little bracket screw that into the side there and then it attaches to the hot shoe mount of your camera or you could attach it to a cold shoe whichever you want. All you need to do then is attach your HDMI cable that is all you need to do to set up your external monitor on your camera. Then you can turn your camera on, turn your external monitor on, and there we go. You can now see everything on the display up here as well as your built-in camera display as well. So why is this useful? Now the first reason is simply because it is much easier to see what you are doing on a bigger display. Now built-in camera monitors, as useful as they are, they're not the best. They tend to be quite low resolution and when you're outside as well, they can become difficult to see if you are in bright daylight. Bigger display, much easier to see, and you can have up to 4K resolution on these as well, which is incredible. So you are getting a much better view and a much better idea of what your image is going to look like. And the other benefit of using something like this on top of your camera is they are so much more color accurate than using the built-in monitor, which again just gives you a much clearer idea of how your final image is going to look when you come to edit. And if you can get to that stage where you are thinking about what your footage is gonna look like in the edit, you are gonna save so much time when it does come to editing. Now the second reason you should be using an external monitor, especially when it comes to video, is because you can use other features that come with the monitor, such as your scopes and waveforms. And these tend not to be available on the built-in camera monitor. So what this allows you to do is absolutely nail things like your exposure, your white balance and your colors in camera, which again, will speed up the editing process when you get to it as well. So a lot of monitors tend to be touchscreen. So if I double tap up here and tap here, you can see I can turn all of my waveforms on. I can turn my parade so I can see all my colors and my vector scopes and also things like a histogram. So you get all of these different functionalities that help you absolutely nail your image in the camera and this just saves so much time. So for example, if I change the shutter speed right now, you'll be able to see the image gets lighter as I slower the shutter speed and also 
the colors and the histograms are changing. So if once you learn how to read these, you can use them to help absolutely nail your image in camera. And that is just so useful. And again, it's not a function on most built-in monitors. So being able to use something like that is hugely useful. Now this third reason is something that I struggle with a little bit because I feel that it shouldn't even be a reason but unfortunately it is and it does make a big difference and that is simply that it looks more professional. For example, if you turn up to your client shoot and all you have is your camera, it looks great. It looks like you know what you're doing because you have a nice big professional mirrorless or DSLR camera. However, sometimes you might turn up and someone goes, is that all you're using? Is that what you use to make your videos? And unfortunately, that is the world that we live in. So just by having something like an external monitor sat on top of your camera, again, makes the impression that you really do know what you're doing and the client is going to get what they are paying for. And that is especially the case when you use something like this. Now this is a cage for my Sony a7C. It's not in the cage right now because obviously I have it here and I'm using my a7C to record. But you can also use this to help you look more professional on set when you're working with a client, as well as it being even more functional and to use because you have more holding points, you have more handles on it. Using something like this is a great way of making you look and feel more professional. I don't think it should be a reason, but it is. But what's great is you can also add in your external monitor onto your handheld rig or your cage. Monitor has little three quarter, I think, mounting points they are. So you can use it to attach to different things such as a tripod or your cage. But if you imagine turning up with this and having your camera in here, for example, it looks so much better than just turning up with your camera. And that I think unfortunately is the world that we live in at the moment. So even though that's not a reason that I would buy an external monitor for to look more professional, it can have an impact and it does make a difference to that as well. So another reason that you should consider using an external monitor is actually a very useful one. And that is importing LUTs onto the external monitor. Now this is something that isn't available on all monitors. However, a lot of them it is. So on the bottom, you can see here that there is an SD card slot. And what this allows you to do is pop in your SD card slot with your LUTs on and import the LUTs to your external monitor so that when you are recording in log, for example, so I record in S-Log2, and when I'm editing, I use a phantom LUT to convert that log footage into standard Rec. 709 footage, so then I can apply a grade on top. Being able to import LUTs onto the external monitor is incredibly useful because when you are filming in log, everything tends to look very gray, very washed out and very flat. There's no contrast and no saturation at all. So what you are looking at right now is graded footage from S-Log2 and right now is ungraded S-Log2 footage. What filming in log allows you to do is create an even greater dynamic range so you can then have more direction that you want to when it comes to color grading. You can get the image to look exactly the way you want. Being able to do this and import the LUTs onto your camera is incredibly useful because what it allows you to do is see an image that will look much more like the final image you are going to have once you are finished editing. And this is especially useful because if you are working with a client and you are showing them log footage that looks incredibly flat and washed out with no saturation and contrast, they might be a little bit worried as to what the final product is going to look like. However, if you show them something that looks a little bit more like the finished product using a 3D LUT, they are not going to question it at all. So if I go into here, you can see that there is a LUT switch. So if I turn that on, you can see that I have imported my Phantom ARRI LUT, but there is also other built-in ones as well. So there's ones for S-Log2, S-Log3, Log-C and V-Log as well. But I have chosen my Phantom Neutral LUT. 
So if I just show you here as well, you can see that the external monitor is showing standard S-Log footage, which looks very gray, flat and washed out. And the external monitor at the top here is showing you more accurate colors because we are viewing that image through the 3D look that we imported onto the external monitor. So again, working with clients, it will make it much easier because they will be able to see an image that looks closer to the finished project and they won't be worried about how it looks all gray and washed out. But it also it makes it easier for you while you are filming the project as well because you are getting a more accurate representation of everything that you can see in the shot. And the final reason that you should consider using an external monitor as well is that you can absolutely nail your exposure and your focus settings. So most external monitors will come with even more features like we did at the start where it comes to the scopes and the waveforms. There'll be even more features such as focus assist and also zebras as well. Now these allow you to absolutely nail the focus and the exposure of your image. So you can see here as I change the focus focus we get some red that appears on the monitor and where it is red shows what is in focus. So right now I can see whatever is in focus is bright red. And if we keep turning, it all goes out of focus and you know that you need to adjust your focus. Now you can change the focus peaking colors as well to whatever you want to through the built-in monitors. So that if, for example, you are in a red environment, you're not gonna be able to see red focus peaking very well. So you might want to change it's a blue or green that's all doable through the external monitor now you can also use zebras as well which are incredibly useful for exposure so you can see if anything is peaking and that you can also use them to nail your skin tone exposures as well which is incredibly useful however that is for another video because you could go on forever about that but you can turn on the zebras just by here and you can change the value as well so you can adapt them to whatever exposure you want to and that is just incredibly useful because you can then see whatever is overexposed. So you can see that my hand is completely overexposed and you want to change that so you can bring down the ISO or the aperture and now we have a nice exposure in that shot. So external monitors really are incredibly useful and I would highly recommend getting one, especially if you do a lot of video work. Not so much photography, although you might want to consider it, but video, definitely consider it. This has made filming things for me so much easier. I usually have this sat on top of my camera right now, although I don't because I'm using it to film this video and show some examples. So I would have it sat on top of my camera or on a tripod just here, but even showing things to the camera, so if I wanted to show this to the camera, right now I can't really see if it's in focus because I'm using the little external monitor built into the camera. If I use this, I can see it much clearer and I know everything is in focus, everything is nicely exposed and it just speeds it up and it even makes it easier when it gets to the editing phase as well because I know I have whatever I need to nailed in the camera. And if you can do that and nail all of your settings in the camera and get everything looking right built into the camera it, as you shoot your image, that is gonna save so much time for you. It really is. So I will pop a link down below to the Feelworld F6 Plus if you want to go and check it out. And yeah, let me know which external monitors you use, if you've ever used one or if you don't use one. Um, that is it for this video. I shall see you all very soon in the next one.